God. Yep, that just about sums up my first day playing Escape from Tarkov. So what did I learn? Well, first and foremost, I learned that Tarkov is absolutely brutal. I've played quite a few games over the last few decades, and I can say without a doubt that Escape from Tarkov is the most challenging, immersive, and brutal game I've ever played. And that's after just four hours of playtime. I thought I was prepared to play this game because I've been watching EFT streamers and YouTubers for over a year now, and every one of them makes it look, you know, relatively simple. I bet I've watched over a thousand hours of Tarkov content, which I thought was going to put me in a pretty good place to play this game. I could not have been more wrong. I also learned that it is possible for a game to have an intense physiological effect on the human body. Numerous times while playing, I found my body completely tense, my heart was racing, and when I died, which I did a lot, I felt true despair and disappointment deep down in my gut. Our first raid. So what actionable items did I learn? To start, I think offline play to learn a map is probably the most important thing a new Tarkov player can do. I thought I knew the maps from all my time watching others play, but I quickly discovered that actually being in the map, playing the game, highlighted my almost complete lack of map knowledge. My first couple of raids were offline, so I didn't have to worry about losing my gear, and I thought a few offline raids would be enough to help me get my bearings straight. I was wrong. Now that I have my first day under my belt, I've decided that I'm going to spend at least a dozen hours running offline raids in a single map to really learn as much as I can about it before trying my first online scav raid. Alright, well made it through our first offline raid. That leads me to the next thing I learned, which is that scav runs are a new player's best option for playing online without worrying about going broke. Let's go do, let's go do a scav run. My intention is to only run scav runs until I can consistently get out alive. If I can get out alive from a scav run 50% of the time, then I'll start mixing in PMC runs to complete tasks and start leveling up. I also learned that situational awareness in Tarkov is of the utmost importance. This comes from map knowledge and being cognizant of all the sounds around you. Sound is probably the most important sense and the most helpful indication of what's going on in-game. I struggled a lot with situational awareness, which is obvious when you see how many times I died without any clue of where the shots came from or who killed me. My heart's beating a little bit. Alright. Now I definitely want to get out of here. Oh, jeez. Just stood still. The next thing I learned is that aim is a lot more difficult than I expected. I'm not a great FPS player, but I can usually hold my own. But the realism of the iron sights on a firearm in Tarkov quickly highlighted my shortcomings in the aim department. 
It's very difficult to see the target when you ADS, and that makes getting kills incredibly difficult. Some might say that hip firing is a solution, but when the target is a long distance away, the inaccuracy of hip firing is exaggerated, making it that much more difficult to get a kill. Picking your battles is the final lesson I wanted to share from my first time playing Escape from Tarkov. I found myself getting into a firefight with an enemy when I really didn't need to, and when I had a lot to lose. Some people would call it gear fear, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. I truly believe, for myself at least, that a new player to Tarkov should probably avoid all fights for as long as possible. This idea may stem from my own shortcomings in the aim department, but I do believe that getting out alive is the whole point to escape from Tarkov, and the best way to get out alive is to avoid a losing fight. So what is my plan moving forward to play Escape from Tarkov? First, I'm going to spend a dozen hours doing offline raids to learn customs. Second, I'm not going to play my first PMC raid until I can get out of a scav raid at least 50% of the time. How am I going to improve my odds of doing that? I'm going to avoid all fights if at all possible. I'm also going to focus on my situational awareness and paying attention to the sounds in the game. Damn it. Third, I'm going to practice looting everything I come across. This will help me get the mechanics down clean and will also help me learn which items to loot and how to loot from cover. I'm going to use offline runs to practice my aim. That literally takes all of my money. <laughs> Alright. We're going to make it out of this one. My plan is to go into an offline run as a geared up PMC against scavs, which will give me a fighting chance against the scavs weapons so I can practice my aim which will improve my odds of surviving a gunfight. Thank you for watching my humiliating but educational first day playing Escape from Tarkov, and hopefully this will give new players some ideas on how they will go about their first few days in Tarkov. If you want, you can click my Twitch link below to catch my live play, and hopefully you'll see that I've gotten better. I guess we'll find out.